Hey guys, welcome to a little bit cloudy Florida. It's uh, February 3rd, I believe, 2023, and it's about 80 degrees. And today we're gonna, I'm gonna show you a plant that I uh, really came to like over the time. And if you live in zones eight and above, you can grow this plant. It will take a freeze and it's called the White Crinium Americana, the world's largest lily. So let's take a look at a couple of them here. Okay, guys. And uh, these are giant bromelades right next to it, but look at the size of this thing. And uh, it's the White Crinium Americana. It's also called the Florida Swamp Lily and the String Lily. Now let's take a look around it and I will show you why it's called the String Lily. The uh, flowers, beautiful fragrance. They look like strings and uh, here's one that just opened up and you can see the parts of the flower there and now what happens and look at the size of these leaves they're about five feet long four feet long it's a giant plant and uh, once these mature the flowers they get a few bulbs like this and they uh, fall to the ground and uh, look what happens to them and uh, look at the size of that one and uh, these are like bulbs. What I really should do is uh, plant these and you'll get more lilies. So you can take a couple of these and bury them and you'll get more lilies. See? And how, this is how they start. Now the crazy thing about this plant was um, when I got two little baby plants, one had variegation and the other one didn't. So I just wanted to show you after all of this growth and maturity, look what's going on now. It's starting to become variegated and uh, you can see all these other leaves were green and uh, now it's becoming variegated so um, this was a pup so it must have been fertilized by the one next to it Okay, now I'm going to walk over and show you uh, the other ones I have. And uh, if you want a beautiful plant, and uh, it's easy to trim these leaves, you just pull them right off. And uh, see how nice it'll have a big stalk. And uh, if any leaves get brown, you just cut them away. And it's huge. Okay, let's go over to the other ones. Okay, this is uh, the older ones I had for a few years now, maybe. And uh, this one is green. And it's huge. 
your Florida swamp will really, end up. Uh, look how wide it is at the base. And uh, it's a beautiful plant. And just so you can see the whole thing. And it's really wide at the base. And then I had this variegated one. And uh, check out the white on it. Okay. Isn't that beautiful? And uh, this one was recently blossoming too. So somehow that one in the front is a combination. And uh, at the base, it's, it's not as big as the green one, but they're about the same age. And uh, you could see uh, how high these leaves are. Uh, Right there, that tip is about five feet. And check out, that's what uh, I feed my tortoise. <laughs> but there you have it. The world's largest lily, the Florida Carinium. Americanum, Carinum Americana, and uh, it's a native of Florida. And uh, I wasn't a fan of this plant in the beginning, but it's so hardy and healthy, and it survives cold. It's it's a great plant, and. Uh, Here's another kind of lily. I don't know what it is. But it's not as hardy as the uh, perineum. It'll die back if it uh, freezes, but it, it did very well this year. And it will never get as big as, uh, as this beautiful Americanum white perineum lily so i recommend it and if you can get they rock colors i don't know if they get as big as these if you can get a white one that's what they look like take care guys and god bless